PAX Australia has come and gone for another year and we're probably all having withdrawal symptoms by now from three days of amazing games. So today I wanted to share with you some of the best games I played at PAX. The first game I really loved was the game Broken Roads. Now Broken Roads is an Australian apocalyptic CRPG. It's the kind of game that is reminiscent of classic Fallout, the original but set in a uniquely Australian environment. Basically, you pick one of four origin stories and you're all trying to survive, but obviously the politics of survival gets in the way. And that's one of the really interesting things about Broken Roads is its complex morality system. It's not just a simple kind of good versus evil here. I think that you're going to have to make some really tough choices in order to survive. Added to this, you've clearly got some branching narratives and just some cool mechanics like taking a punt, who doesn't want to play a video game where you have to take a punt? So Broken Roads is definitely one to watch. It's coming out in November and I'm very excited to pick that one up and play the full game. The next game that really impressed me at PAX was from Across the Ditch and that is Into the Dead Our Darkest Days. It's a really interesting take on the side scroller mechanic in a 2.5D environment. There's a zombie apocalypse, but it's the aesthetic that really brings this one home. What I really liked about this game is that it takes the familiar side-scroller mechanic, but actually turns it into a stealth game. This is a game I could have sat down and played for hours after the demo. It really scratched that itch of strategy, exploration, storytelling through the environment, and also resource management. I'm always really interested in narrative storytelling and one of the visual novels really impressed me and that was Draculeshti. I thought the writing was excellent. It perfectly captured the gothic nature of Dracula and also that longing and romantic nature that comes in the gothic. The artwork looked like it was out of a league of extraordinary gentlemen. It was absolutely beautiful and highly worth checking out. The game was advertised as Gay Dracula, need we say more? Probably not. On to the next game. A game for all you strategic boffins out there would be Solium Infernum. Now this really felt like taking a tabletop game and putting it on your computer with all the bells and whistles that come with that. It's a turn-based strategy game where you command the legions of hell trying to usurp power for yourself. Meanwhile, the other devils are probably plotting against you. I played through the demo level, learning the strategy here, and I feel like this is a game that could get really complex and appeal to those, for want of a better word, micromanagers out there. If you liked a game like Frostpunk or any of those other kind of military strategy, tactical games that take a lot of thought and forward planning, or just like playing chess, you probably will like Solium Infernum. Finally, it's worth mentioning the most fun game I played at PAX. It is nothing like any of the previous games I've mentioned, and that's part of the appeal and the charm, is the dungeon experience. And it's about a level one mud crab trying to make your life better as you go through his homemade theme park. This offbeat comedy game brought to mind things like Discworld, but at the same time, it had a really endearing heart to it with this lovely mud crab who really just wants to see you succeed. The game ended with a crab playing a saxophone solo, telling you to believe in yourself. And by damn, I did believe in myself by the end of it. Those were my favorite games from PAX Oz 2023. There's a lot of promising talent out there and I can't wait to get my hands on the full versions of some of these games. What was your favorite game from Paxos or maybe your favorite upcoming indie? Hit me up in the comments below and thanks so much for watching.